Okay, so context is really the circumstance that the strategy is formed in. So, for instance, things like um, the industry we work in, the culture analysis, the resource, uh, the basis of what we call the resource based view, which we'll touch on as we go through the uh, course. The idea of what do we actually have? And strategy obviously comes from that. Then there's the content, which is basically the choices that we make, irrespective of what our resources are. And these, of course, can things like can come from the leader, for instance. And there's the process. There's the uh, idea of planning and the idea of standing back and deciding what are we going to do. So strategy can come from sort of three branches, if you like. The resources we have, and for instance, if you're good at something, then the tendency is to build a strategy on that in the future. Then there's the choice element. Well, somebody has to decide which way we're going to go, which may well come from a leader. And then there's a process element, the idea of standing, uh, sitting back and analysing what's going on in the world and forming a plan based on that. So strategy can come from a number of ways. Now, this is the exploring strategy model, which we'll keep coming back to. Our textbook is based on it, and it works very well. And the idea is that strategy essentially has three elements, and this is the diagram of it. And if you go into our text, you'll get a lot more detail, and I think it's a good time to perhaps have a look at that. First of all, we've got the strategic position, which is essentially the where are we now. So it's things like, what are we good at? And what is our environment like right now? So things like, you know, the culture of our company, our capabilities, and the environment we work in. And then the choices, which is essentially, what do we want to do? What are our objectives? What are we aiming to do at different levels? So do we see ourselves expanding, taking acquisitions and mergers and that sort of thing? Do we see ourselves moving internationally? And finally, there's what they call strategy in action, which is, OK, we've decided what we're going to do. How are we going to do it? So it could, the classic example of strategy in action is change, but also structure. And the way these sessions work, we'll spend, first of all, the first couple of sessions or so talking about strategic position. Then we'll move on to choices, and we'll finish with uh, some a session, a couple of sessions on strategy and action. So we'll move through the exploring strategy model and the textbook does the same thing and you'll find that most strategy thinking goes that way these days.